Hi, I'm Dustin Ritchie. I want to say welcome and thanks for joining us for this very special presentation. Coming up next. Hi, I'm Dustin Ritchie, and recently I got to sit down with David Huff, lead singer and founder of David and the Giants, and just kind of sit back and remember songs from over the decades. Songs that have spanned decades. David and the Giants. Why don't you let him in? He wants to be your friend. Oh, look at the people. Look at the children. Look at the world today. Songs you remember. I, I can depend on you. Christ our Lord, I am persuaded. Music you'll never forget from David and the Giants. Fun songs from David and the Giants. Hold on, oh yeah, just a little while. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. What the Lord has made for us. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm Justin Ritchie, and recently I got to sit down with David Huff, lead singer and founder of David and the Giants. Hey, Justin, this is David Huff. How are you doing? Great to hear your voice on the phone line. Yeah, thanks for joining us this morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Super. Uh, just stay so busy. You know, I, I go out and travel all over the country as a solo artist. And David and the Giants, we get together for a lot of dates. And then when I get back into town, I'm back into the studio recording and producing different people from all over the world, really. So we've got some new music here from you, and I know there is a live recording of David and the Giants, but let's take it way back. When you first started into this, y'all weren't singing yeah. church music, is that right? Oh, brother, we were far, far away from <laughs> church music. Hey, we were in a rock and roll band, and we were seeking our own, you know, we weren't seeking the things of the Lord. Right. And so we were, we were just lost people. I was with United Artists Records in Hollywood, okay. and they promised me the world but they couldn't give me the things that I needed in my life. And that was joy, yes. peace, and love. And so I was on this search and I needed a change drastically and I needed this change quickly. And somewhere along the way, from Jackson, Mississippi to Laurel, Mississippi, I came down off the drugs yeah. and I realized I was actually straight, yeah. just listening to what Keith was saying about Jesus and I was feeling so much better. Yeah. Just hearing about the name above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. And so that started me on my way. One month later, May 29th, I repented for my sins. I fell down on my knees and I gave my complete life to God, Justin. Yeah. June the 2nd, I was baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ because I was buried with Him yeah. by baptism. And then on June the 5th, I received the Holy Spirit. Amen, brother. What a great testimony you've got. That is awesome. Thanks Praise for, God. Yes, thanks for sharing that with us. Oh, thank you, Dustin. Thank the Lord. Sometimes when I look back to yesterday when I lost my way home Caught up in rivers of of promises and leaves you alone and though we don't understand but we know that it's true how a God will use circumstances to speak to you you turn my stone of mercy. 
know, I had to go and play secular music for three months because I had contracts in the world. Right. And I had a United. I had also the contract with United Artists Records, in which I called them and I told them I was only going to sing for Jesus Christ. And yeah. of course, they didn't like that. So you know, that was voiding the contract because they didn't want to sing about the Lord. Sure. But uh -huh. I still meet people, Dustin, that saw me during that last three months of my days in the secular world and some have come up to me and tell me man you witnessed to me one night outside the club after everything was over and I was drunk and loaded yeah. and you told me about the love of Jesus Christ he said I could not run he said it was just shortly after that that I committed my life to God man good news good news just explained the change from secular music to singing music for God, glorifying God. My focus on this earth for 40 years now, Dustin, has been reaching the lost. Because once I was lost, now I'm found. It's not necessarily a song that I sing, but it's more about the things that I say in my songs. Mm -hmm. It's more about what I say between a song and it's what I would say at the very end that I would challenge somebody to take that step of faith and step out and commit your life to God because I know that that's what pleases the Lord because all the angels in heaven they rejoice over just one so it don't take a whole lot of people giving their lives to God for the angels of God to rejoice and if the angels are rejoicing then how much more should we be rejoicing with the Lord Heaven is waiting, anticipating the praises to our King. You have redeemed us, we've been forgiven to you, oh God, we say. Love the song born for this could that be a worship song could that be something that could be led in front of the congregation on a sunday morning you know what i would treasure that for people to do that i invite praise and worship leaders if they feel led to do that song on a sunday morning i give you permission through the name of jesus you play that song anytime you want to amen thank you for that when i'm overcome by guilt and shame I know the one who came and took my blame I will speak your name You love me through death and the grave And oh my God, you are mighty to save I will speak your name Speak your name got a brand new single that's doing real good around the uh, country right now speak your name there you go and we're having great results for that song because the bible says there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved except in the name of jesus mm -hmm. there's times when the enemy wants to come in and throw things at you yeah. 
But I've learned that just speaking the name of Jesus brings every thought, any doubt into captivity just by speaking the name of Jesus Christ. I just want to mention that he wants you to use that name to empower you with the name of Jesus Christ, to go and use that name. Good word, my friend. Hallelujah. Uh, David, can I pray for you before we go? Oh, yes. Yes. yes sir. Father God, thank you so much for this opportunity to connect with my brother David uh, a couple thousand miles across this continent. Father God, like David just mentioned, the words of the enemy that would say, this was your past, these were your mistakes, this is why you're not good enough to be used for God. We know those are lies of the devil. The past created who we are today, so now we can continue with God's work and, and reach out and yeah. touch people who maybe have a similar past and they can see if God did it for me, God can do it for them. Lead us and bless us and and touch the listeners yeah. of this radio station and the attendees in the venues yeah. that are filled, Lord God. Make divine appointments and bring the right people in at the right time to hear your word through the music, the speaking yeah. in between, whatever it is, God, you be permeated all through all of our efforts. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh. And let's stay in touch, man. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be really good. You be blessed, Justin. You too. I love you, man. You too, brother. Thank you. We made it. We won it. You Thanks for listening and joining us on this very special presentation. I'm Dustin Ritchie, and if you want to hear the full interview, go to this radio station's website and look for the links there. And keep listening for our next special broadcast on this station. 